A man accused of making threats towards Spokane City Hall, forcing officials to cancel last night's city council meeting, is now in jail. Thanks for being with us. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Derek Dice. According to police, 46-year-old Chesson Johnson's threats included creating a scenario where officers would have to use deadly force against him. Marissa Rio is at City Hall now. And Marissa, this is not the first time Johnson's been arrested for making threats towards city officials. No, it isn't. Chesson Johnson has an extensive history of making these violent threats dating all the way back to 2019. Charges against him include harassment and stalking. Now tonight, SPD says that they were aware that yesterday's threat was made by Johnson and they began searching for him. On Tuesday, City Hall reopened, but not without precaution. We're obviously monitoring the situation, so as the police department, um, we're in close communication with them, and we also have more officers here on scene um, as an extra safety precaution. One police officer was seen at the entrance of City Hall Tuesday while it was open. As for Chesson Johnson, court documents reveal some of his most recent charges are from late last year, when he not only made threats to former Mayor Nadine Woodward, but to former Police Chief Craig Meidel as well. In April of this year, Johnson pled guilty to one county of intimidating a public servant and one count of stalking. Court documents reveal that in July, Johnson signed a therapeutic court sentencing waiver and agreement, which allowed him to enter mental health court. Less than two months later, Johnson sent threatening emails and a threatening voicemail to Mayor Lisa Brown. Johnson was charged with cyber harassment and telephone harassment. In late October, a judge signed an order for Johnson to be detained at the Spokane County Jail pending a mental health court termination hearing. Today, prior Prior to the knowledge of an arrest being made, I asked the city how staff in the community can feel safe coming to City Hall. I think you need to have trust in our police department. They're actively monitoring the situation. We trust the decisions made by our officers and Chief Hall, um, and they are acting in best faith and good faith to make sure that our community is safe. At the time of yesterday's threat, SPD says that Johnson already had local arrest warrants for intimidating a public servant and stalking. He was found today in North Idaho, and as he, as we learned, he was taken into custody on those warrants. Now, the SPD says that they will be requesting additional charges for yesterday's incident. Live in Spokane, Marissa Rio, 4 News Now.